I'm planning to work on uh, Linux assembler programs. So for this purpose, I'm going to install the NetWide assembler or NASP. Uh, it's worth mentioning that on Linux, uh, you probably already have the GNU uh, assembler or AS. Uh, but uh, this has uh, quite a different uh, syntax, so I prefer installing something like uh, NASP. Uh, so uh, first uh, we need to go to the website. Um, there are here different instructions. Uh, if you have an, an RPM-based uh, distribution, uh, it's possible to install it using uh, DNF or YUM. Uh, but um, I'm going to install it from source and uh, this is useful uh, especially if uh, you don't have uh, root access to a server or you want uh, the latest version for which maybe uh, there isn't a build for your specific operating system. So uh, what you need to do is uh, click on um, this uh, link latest version stable and uh, here um, you can see uh, the tar uh, zipped uh, version I'm going to copy this so I am connected here on a virtual machine running uh, Alma Linux uh, I'm going to create a build folder then I'm going to download uh, the source archive. Now I'm going to extract it. And we have a NASM folder. Uh, we see here uh, there is a configure. I'm going to look briefly at the configuration options so it's possible to specify a prefix where to install it I'm going to use this option this is available for most uh, packages it's possible it's possible to disable certain extensions or to enable but I think I'll go with the defaults uh, so uh, what I'm going to do, uh, I'm going to specify configure prefix uh, home user programs. So it's going to be installed uh, in my uh, home directory and it will be available only for me. And uh, for this you don't need uh, any uh, root access to the server. Uh, on the other hand, you still need uh, on the server to be available the build tools like uh, GNU C compiler, uh, make uh, and so on. Uh, but on this server uh, I have everything installed so now I'm running uh, make. Of course uh, it is expected to take a while until it uh, compiles and hopefully there will be no errors. Okay, <coughs> so I think there wasn't any error, at least I don't see any. So now I'm going to do make install. Okay, uh, so let's take a look in uh, programs, in user programs. I have here a bin folder where there is NASP and the shell folder with the mom pages. So if I go here in programs bin uh, and I run NASM, okay, it seems to be working. Let's check also the version. So NASM version 2.16.0.3. Okay, so yeah, that uh, this concludes this uh, installation and I hope uh, you've enjoyed it and you'll find it useful. So don't forget to like and subscribe and see you next time. Bye.